Marines with 3rd Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion struck a major insurgent trafficking hub on the Helmand-Pakistan border March 14. The four-day raid targeted the Baram Cha village area and marked the opening of Operation Rawhide 2. Uh, the significance of this area is it is a primary drug trafficking area. It's a key uh, border crossing point that facilitates the entire Helmand River Valley area. It's basically a hub uh, of all in th things regarding illegal material. The attack focused on disrupting the Baram Cha Bazaar, a known hotbed of explosive device and opium production. Actually go left four fingers up to that hole right there. Marines battled sporadic insurgent resistance mostly from mortars called in by insurgents hiding in the hills. The Marines made heavy use of artillery and air support during the operation. More than 50 insurgents were killed while no coalition or civilian casualties occurred. Uh, it wasn't really up front, in your face, close range fighting. A lot more of us uh, at a distance. Uh, we were able to identify targets out at ranges, and uh, they were trying to attack us from ranges. Marines timed the attack to disrupt the upcoming poppy harvest and seasonal insurgent offensive. We effectively neutralized or delayed their spring offensive, uh, and denying them the ability to transit all the IEDs up to the Helmand River Valley area, as well as uh, pushing their insurgents who can influence the poppy growth up in the Helmand River Valley area and that harvesting time, uh, which denied them the ability to get their funds or their, uh, their monies that uh, support their, uh, their fight campaign against us. With the Baram Cha Bazaar in ruins, the Marines now plan to launch an interdiction campaign just above the Pakistan border. The intent is to keep pressure on insurgent smuggling and supply lines. From Forward Operating Base Payne, Helmand Province, I'm Sergeant Jeremy Ross.